Okay, so I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to do pyramids, PLL, or last layer algorithms, or however you want to call it. I'm going to try to make it quick because my phone is at 9% and I don't want it dying while I'm filming because then the video doesn't save and I have to start it again. So uh, I'll just get right into it. There's five cases, which is coincidentally the amount of pyramids as I have. So I'll start off with the first one. This pyramid is missing some caps. But this case is just two flipped edges. It's pretty easy to recognize and it's the only one where you have a solved edge and you just put the solved edge in the back and the two ones that need flipping in the front. And you just do a sledgehammer, R prime, L, R, L prime. And then you turn it so that the front face is on the bottom and the left face is on the front. And then you kind of do the sledgehammer again, but instead of R prime, L, you do R, L prime, R prime, L. And then you have a solved cube. These next two are, I kind of call like the soon and the anti soon cases. They kind of remind me of those. Like, for example, this one, you see that like all these edges have matching colors, like these red ones and then these green ones and then these blue ones, but they're not in the right places. They kind of need to do like a U prime. But if you just do a U prime, these sensors won't be in the right place. So you have to do, so since it needs to do a uh, U prime, Kind of the opposite, like you do R and then instead of U prime, you do U, R prime, U, R, U, R prime. So it kind of reminds this one kind of reminds me of a soon. Um, this next one is just the same thing, but it's the opposite. You need to do like a U to make the, all the edges solve. So you do R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. So basically, during the algorithm, the way you need to turn the U layer is like opposite to where it needs to go. And then now these final two, they're kind of similar in that they both have these two um, blocks of matching pieces just in this one. Then these two matching pieces are on the left and then so are these if you rotate. And then these two matching pieces are on the right and then these two are also on the right. So for the one on the left, then you do R prime, U prime, L prime, U, L, R, and that has it solved. And then this one, you do just the opposite of that, which is R prime, L prime, U prime, L, U, R. And then you have the solve cases. I think that'll be it for this video. I just wanted to make this a super short video, and I'll see you in my next one.